Good morning, my name is Regina Green with Making Faith Moves and today I have an amazing woman who will be interviewing on this station today and her name is Ola Wumi and I'm very excited to interview such amazing women who have decided to step out in faith and do exactly what God is asking them to do, although it may be a little bit scary. I love helping my career individuals to step out in faith and do what God is asking them to do, to make faith moves, and also develop the mindset of faith, success, and abundance, which causes us to step out and do exactly what he wants us to do in faith and bring in all that belongs to us already. And it's all on the inside of us, which is the kingdom of God. And we're going to bring it here on earth. So would you mind introducing yourself and letting us know who you are and what it is that you do? Uh, yes, um, my name is Olaomi Brigwe, and um, I'm a transformational coach. I primarily work with Christians, and um, I focus, obviously, you know, in terms of working, helping people to transform their lives, get over obstacles. Um, for me, the main focus of my coaching is on the mindset, um, because I believe that whatever you are, internally whatever you are inside is what you will produce yeah. um, until you change your internal image you you can't really change your experiences you could try you know wasting lots of energy <laughs> and money <laughs> and time but then usually people end up back exactly where they started so oh. so that's what i do <laughs> and I love it, which is why I'm attracted to you. I love your message. It's very, very, very similar. I think we talk about the same things. And yeah, <laughs> and in the way that you you bring it, it's it's very it's very unique, and I like it. So, um, the one of the things I want to know is, did you leave your nine to five and start a business, or um, what is your faith move here? Sharing. Right. Um, I, I, I am leaving my nice five. So I actually handed in my notice because uh, I currently teach. <laughs> um, I've been in education for about 12 years, 12, 13 years now. Um, so teacher, senior leader and so on. Um, at the start of this academic year, I just handed my notice. Um, that was in September, so <laughs> um, and I knew that I wasn't going to be looking for anything else. Um, one of the reasons why I did that was because I recognized that, you know, in terms of the business mindset, you know, I had, I needed transformation yeah. and I, I didn't want to put myself on unnecessary pressure to be able to do that. I knew what God was calling me to do. So, you know, I, I gave myself time to be able to, you know, really go after the mindset. Because I was having lunch with um, a couple of friends yesterday and I said to them, you know, in my, in my career, I was always very, I'm always very ambitious, you know. Mm -hmm. So in my career, I was always going for the top. And originally when the idea of business came to me, you know, I was thinking I could go for any job in corporate, in anything, you know, I could, yeah. I, I see it six figures and I, I don't blink. I'm like, yes, I can apply for that and yes. I can get it. But when it came to business, you know, for me to actually believe that someone could pay me 10 pounds because, you know, you know, I live in England yeah. for something that's not salaried in a structured environment was, it was, I couldn't believe that. It was, you know, a major hurdle, an obstacle. So I thought, nah, you need to deal with this. <laughs> I have to raise my hand on that. Yes, that is tied to our self-worth. And I'm so excited that you even brought that up. Absolutely. Because that is the same exact thing that I want uh, individuals to understand that going from from employee to entrepreneur, there is a shift, a transformation that yeah. has to take place on the inside yes. or you <laughs> won't sell a thing or you won't, you will not do it. We can speak it and we can call it out, but you have to have a change on the inside. <laughs> so thank you so much Absolutely. for that up. I really appreciate that. I get excited when I hear that. I'm like, yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you left your nine to five, well, whenever you, let me ask, because I, I always have to ask this question. Yeah. Do you have the fear of not having the paycheck? How do you deal with that? And How, share right. that with us. Um, I, I actually dealt with it um, before now, because, you know, when God started speaking to me, because I, I knew, um, I think about, I thought, okay, I'm going to, you know, be in education for about 10 years, and then I'm going to move on and do something else. 
else. Um, but the something else for me was never business because I wasn't raised in a home where you're surrounded by entrepreneurs. It was always, you know, professional parents, you know, get a job, you know, get a good pension and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So yeah. when the idea of business started coming up, you know, God was leading me like, what? No way. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he said to me, he said, you know, what if I asked you to resign today? And I just, I just thought, God, you know, I would not be able to do it unless I, you know, and I just, you know, that was when the, you know, the penny dropped that I was so, I, you know, you know, you say, oh, God is my source and all that stuff, but it's all talk, you know, God is your source. <laughs> I can so relate. To, yes, you're exactly right. No, it's all talk. You have to really check what's in your heart and what you really believe. Yeah. Um, and I, and for me, that was an eye-opening experience because I realized that I didn't really believe, you know, I, I had, you know, growing up, I, I had um, maybe moved away because there was a lot of fake moves in terms of finances at university, you know, just yeah. going out there and yeah. putting myself out there. But once I got comfortable God wasn't necessarily my source anymore. I was looking to the salary. I was looking to the promotion to increase my income. And for me, that was a defining moment. So I thought I have to change this mindset. So I, you know, literally took God and I got to the point where I knew, I knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that if I left, you know, my income was not, was no longer tied to any job and I could very easily resign and you know there was no fear whatsoever but it, it, it took a process for me to be able to get there yes it is a process and that's so powerful for you to share with uh everyone who's listening that it is definitely a process you don't jump out there and everything is just like perfect it does not work god wants to do a work on the inside of us causing us to change from the inside yes. out so that the things that are inside of us his word brings things to the earth so we want to bring the kingdom here on earth right <laughs> so um talking about mindset we both kind of talk on mindset tell me um yeah. what does that really mean to you what i mean because we hear so much mindset 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 what is mindset to you right to me um it's essentially romans 12 2. Uh, the bible talks about you know be transformed by by the renewing of your mind, yes. you know, that you may prove, you know, KJV says prove, but what that really you may prove what is a good, acceptable and perfect will. For me, it means that you may access, yeah. you know, God's will for us is, you know, it's perfect, it's good, but you can't access it until you actually change the way you think. For me, that's mindset. Mm-hmm. And the classic example from the Bible is the children of Israel, the promised land was waiting for them. Everything was all set up, but they, you know, their own mind, you know, they saw themselves, the Bible says, as grasshoppers. Yeah. And the interesting thing is, you know, I, you know, I say this to people that at that point in time, you know, Egypt was, you know, the most civilized nation. Pharaoh was probably the most powerful man on the earth. And, yeah. you know, see everything that God did to get them out. And, um, they couldn't just, you know, get their minds around it. And their minds were so set as slaves. They didn't see themselves as giant killers. Yeah. So it was there for them. It wasn't, God had given it, but they didn't access it. Yeah. So for me, mindset, it's just the way you think, you know, it's, it's how you see things. It's, you know, what we've been raised with is traditions and cultures and so many things. Yes. Um, that color, you know, and, um, as a parent, I, you know, and I, and I say it all the time that, you know, your children, they do what they see, what they observe, not necessarily what, they, what you tell them. Exactly. You can say, right, well, they'll obey you because obviously you're saying do this, but what's really going down deep into them yes love they don't even know it's going in until they start experiencing those things later on in life and you're like where did that come from yes you know my mom used to do that or my dad used to. so it's constant you know it's those things that we are observing on a daily basis either consciously or unconsciously so it's just you know the mindset is being aware yes first of all identifying what you believe you have to dig deep and know what you truly believe yeah. and not wait for circumstances to tell you what you believe 
was, that's exactly. why they're very challenging and tough. So it's, yeah. it's amazing. You know, it's taking God's word and daily, daily, you know, looking at what he says about us as yeah. his children. What does God say about me? And, you know, changing my mind to see myself the way, see myself and the world, other people, the way God says, you know, we are. Yeah. For me, that's what, that's what mindset is. Yes. And that is such an, I love it. I have nothing else to say on that. Like that's it uh, in a nutshell. <laughs> That is really it, and that's oh, that that got me excited. Um, as far as what would you say that you do every day? One of the things that I talk about is daily habits. What do you do daily yeah. in order to yeah. um, change, create the change that you truly desire to tap into your inner self? What are some mindset practices that you use to uh, mm. renew your mind every day? I know you kind of touched on uh, reading the word every day. Um, what it, what would you suggest? Yes, for me, the biggest one is confessing, actually speaking God's words. It's not necessarily just you know, reading it. And um, I have something that I call my morning success plan, um, yeah. which is, you know, wake up in the morning and I do a few things. And if, you know, specifically some of the things I do for mindset, you know, would be, apart from reading the Bible, would be speaking, it, like I said. So I have a list of scriptures, yeah. you know, that, that resonate with me, that tell me who I am, you know, um, and I speak them over my, I say, I am this, yeah. you know, I am based on the word of God. Um, another thing I do is I believe that if you don't look back and be grateful, you know, for where God has brought you from, it's very difficult to move forward. Um, that's why it's very easy to crumble when you face a challenge. If you yeah. can't look back and think, oh, look, look, you know, look at all the wonderful things I've been, you know, God has brought me through. Yeah. And yeah, so I, I have, um, I do my gratitude and my gratitude involves basically just listing. So the, God showed me this a few years ago. I sat down and said, every major a miracle or blessing or whatever that you can think of since you were born that you can remember write it down and I and I have things as far back as you know when I was eight and you know I was I ran into the road and I was you know flung by a car landed I think on my head or something got up and ran home as in you know things wow. like that you know wow. that was obviously God's preservation so I have things you know difficult seasons in my life that I felt it that's it, you know, completely finished. And I saw how the hand of God brought me through. So for me, mind, you know, it, it helps me if I'm facing something. I'm like, oh, that this is small compared to what God. Did. Yes. You know? um, yeah. Yeah. And um, and the other thing I also do is I I write out my you know goals and where God's taken me every day, and I look at it because you know it just that helps with complacency because if you if you don't have something you're reaching for it's okay to just coast and not yes. and not really do anything so those are specific things that i do in terms of mindset love it love it, love it. thank you so much and i know that'll help uh, individuals to yeah. get into the habit of being consistent and disciplined and focused on things every single day to yeah. bring their dreams to reality or do exactly what god is calling them to do um, I want to ask, what is it that that you would sit, like share with someone who's currently afraid to move outside of their job or move towards what God is asking them to do? What would you suggest to them? What advice would you give someone who's thinking about that? Well, um, I, I I can only advise what I know works and what has worked for me for what twenty odd years. Um, and that is to sit down with God's word because you need to plant that word in your heart. Yes. Um, so, you know, you know, God is calling you to do something and you're afraid, you know, it, it, and um, a wonderful scripture that has always helped me um, is Romans eight. And it's quite lengthy. I think it starts from 26 and it talks about, you know, if he did not spare his own son, you know, how will he not along with him, give us all things. All things. Yes. It also says, you know, if, God is for us. Who can be against us? Yeah. Um, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. So it's, you know, when you know God's love, you know, 
it inspires confidence. You know, it's when we don't really know that love that we're afraid to do what he's calling us to do because you, you're not sure. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sure? No, I'm, I'm not really. <laughs> and you sort of equate it with maybe uh, earthly parents or whatever and people that have disappointed us. But yeah. God never, ever disappoints. Even when it looks like things are not working, there's a plan. There's a yes. plan. Yes. And he's always working to make always. it good in the end. So it's literally sitting down, you know, practically now taking that word and saying, you know, there's nothing that can separate me from the love of God. You know, I, and I know as I step out, he's got my back and all things are working together for my good. And the more you stay with the word and, you know, in, you know, yeah. To the Holy Spirit, the confidence, com- faith is essentially confidence in God. It is. That's what faith is. Yes, it so is. The more you have confidence in Him, not in anything, you know, not necessarily in the fact that, okay, I've been able to save 50,000 pounds or something, because we all know how fickle that is. You yes, know? exactly. Um, faith is conf- having that confidence in God. So that's, that's what I would say. And I, really wouldn't advise anyone to step out until they have that confidence yes. in, and in what in themselves and in the God that is in them. Yes. You know, it's not, it's not about the structure because you can save money and then this business doesn't work and you have to run back, you know? So yep. it's not about that. It's more, yep. you know, it's more about sourcing out the inside. Yes. Changing on the inside. That's really, really powerful. Thank you so much for sharing that. Um, that was one of the things that happened, which is why I truly want to be able to help women and men mm. as well with this, because I stepped out and I had to, I, God worked on me um, when I was just thinking about leaving. But when I stepped out, I did mo. I, God worked on me. At, but when I left. Yeah. <laughs> so that took all this time of not getting the clients. Although yeah. he really did um, provide for me. And that's what I want to share. He provided. He knows that when we step out, even if it's outside of when he tells us to step out, God knows he is the provider of all things. And he will yes. definitely take care of you yes. and everyone, you know, because that's exactly what happened for me. And mm-hmm. as I renewed my mind and as I studied the word and as I got it planted in my heart, that is when I was able to see the transformation. So that's really powerful. Um, I was going to ask you what's your favorite scripture, but I think you shared it. That's it. That's it. That's, <laughs> yes. that's, it. that's what, so, that's my, that's my go-to. <laughs> yeah. So I just want to ask you, um, share with everyone where they can find you and um, maybe possibly do business with you and what it is that you offer. Yes. Um, so, you know, as I said at the start of, of the interview, I am a transformational coach and what I specifically do is, you know, if someone, so I work with Christians, I feel stuck um, and dissatisfied and they, they, they know that there's more, yeah. but they, there's so more, you know, when life gets in the way and you just, you just, you just can't seem to achieve that dream in your yeah. heart. You've tried so many ways and so many things and it's not working. Um, so what I help people do is identify the obstacles that are actually in their way yeah. and they help them overcome it by first of all transforming their mind yeah thinking and then you know putting processes and so on um in and structures in place uh so my uh, i think my website is allow me Brigway, and um that's probably going to be in the notes somewhere is okay it? okay uh but anyway it spells o l a w u n m i b r i g u e dot com okay and I also run a Facebook group um, called High Impact Christian Professionals and Entrepreneurs. Um, so, you know, it's a free group and everyone's welcome. Everyone yes. that's looking for, for more. That's a Christian that believes that there's more. Um, and they, they don't quite know how to reach out and take it. Yes. And there is more. Thank Absolutely. you. So much. Thank you for uh, deciding to do the interview and sharing so much great insight on this interview. I really appreciate it. And uh, do you have anything else you'd like to say? No, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. You know, um, as you said, um, you know, I, I, I think we met by chance and I, by chance, 
by that I mean, you know, I believe God orchestrates, yes. you know, and, and directs our path. And, and I know that it's God ordained. I am really blessed, you know, uh, to have been in touch with you, to be in contact with you. So yes, it's yes. a wonderful opportunity and I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much. So thank you for listening to the interview. I really appreciate it. My name is Regina Green with Making Faith Moves, and I love helping my career professionals take leaps of faith, step out, make faith moves, and do exactly what God is asking you to do. Make your dreams a reality by doing what? Bringing the kingdom here on earth, transforming your mind, renew your mind, change it, because when you change your thoughts, you begin to change your life. Thank you again, and have an amazing day.